Hey, thanks for joining us for Devotionals, Brief Devotions for Busy People. We all love stories of hope. We all love stories that go from dark to light, from death to life, from tragedy to triumph. We love when there's a great loss that ends in restoration. I think it's because inside of us all is this, this desire for things to work out that represents is a picture and a mirror of the gospel, of the hope that Christians have, that God is making all things new and that He will make right every wrong. And that's a desire that's implanted in all of us because we are God's creatures. We are created in His image. Though some don't know where that desire comes from. But we love these kind of stories. I was reminded of these kind of stories this past weekend as my alma mater, Marshall University. Each November, we remember the plane crash in 1970, which took the lives of 75 people. Most of our entire football team was gone. Boosters and doctors, announcers, lost in a, in a fateful November 14, 1970 plane crash. And many stories have been told, and probably the most notable was one that Hollywood did with Matthew McConaughey called We Are Marshall. The idea is that we come from the ashes and we move on to glory. And that is so true for the people of God. We are a people of hope. That God brings us from ashes and takes us to glory. He brings us from death to life. This picture is powerfully given in Ezekiel 37. You think about the people of God who have been led They've been taken into exile. They're in Babylon. They're feeling like, oh, is God done with us? Has God abandoned us? Has God forsaken us? Has God failed us? We are in despair. We are hopeless. In fact, in Ezekiel 37, verse 11, they say that we have lost hope. Ezekiel 37, God, through the prophet Ezekiel, gives them hope through these prophetic visions. The first is a very familiar vision, the valley of dry bones. There's bones everywhere, and Ezekiel's led around by the Lord. He says, Son of man, can these bones live? Oh, Lord, you know. He says, prophesy to the bones. And they come together. There's light. There's a rattling. So prophesy to the breath, and they live. An exceedingly great army, verse 10 tells us. In verse 15, the picture shifts to God bringing back a divided nation. Remember right after the reign of Solomon, these, the kingdom splits and there's the northern kingdom and there's the kingdom of Judah. The kingdom is split and they have all these kings and the northern kings, every one of them is bad. And the southern, they fare a little better, but mostly all these bad kings and the decisions and the worship and the way of life that they live became very distinct and yet both rebelled against the Lord and they're sent into exile. And God says, I am going to bring the two into one. And there's this picture of the sticks, and he put, putting the sticks together, that the, the northern kingdom and Judah would be reunited, and that they would have one king, one shepherd. That king would come from the Davidic line. We know him as the Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he also promises hope that he would forgive them, that he would cleanse them, that he would put their, his spirit within them, that they would walk in his ways, and that he would be their God, they would be his people. It's my favorite phrase in the Bible. And that this would happen forever or more. Nearly five times, I think, forever or eternity is alluded to. This is an eternal hope that Christians have. We are a people of hope. So on this Monday morning in 2020, we're nearing the end of the year. It's been a hard year. A lot of just crazy things happening around the world and in our country, in our state, in our city, in Louisville, Kentucky. God has not abandoned His people. The message that He has for you is to not lose hope. He is the God who brings us from death to life, from ashes to glory. As Revelation 21 sums it up, I am making all things new. And so we pray, come Lord Jesus, come quickly. Make all things new, and as we are waiting, let us be a people of hope. We are a people of hope. God bless you today.